hello beautiful people welcome back to the garden welcome to the channel in today's video we are going to be talking about the nutritional value of the country jaman jama that is the black nightshade or the garden huckleberry that i talk so much about on this channel and guess what tribe it's another giveaway i will be giving away three garden huckleberry seed packs that's valued at ten dollars free to members of the tribe this is my way of saying thank you it's november it's thanksgiving season and i just want to appreciate all of you for your encouragement and your support so keep watching to find out how you can win a free seed pack hello hello tribe how are you all doing thank you so much for clicking to watch today's video i am excited because we harvested the garden huckleberries yes officially we have the first harvest i'm always so excited for harvest day because it's the essence of why we grow our own food in the backyard so i would say my experiment worked my experiment worked i was trying to see if i can harvest anything at all before thanksgiving and i did and if you're new to the channel you don't know what i'm talking about I put together a little collage of this experiment the experiment was try to cultivate another round of the garden huckleberry before thanksgiving in my zone 9a garden i started the seeds precisely on the 28th of september and on the 15th of november the 14th of november that was on sunday i had my official first harvest it was not much but we did make a meal out of it a lot of you have reached out to me to ask how the garden huckleberry tastes like it has a mild flavor it is not overpowering the garden huckleberry may have a slight bitter taste it depends on when it is harvested the younger shoots are not bitter but the older the vegetable it starts to build up that bitter compound within the vegetable it is not slimy it is not like okra it is not mucilaginous it's just you know think of it like spinach and we use it in much the same way as you would use spinach usually it is cooked i have not seen i've not come across any tribe that eats the garden huckleberry raw but if you're watching and you eat this raw let me know or let me know how you you eat it wherever you are from now let's talk about the nutritional value of the african garden huckleberry let me just say that the nutritional value depends on several factors it's going to depend on when the vegetable was cultivated in africa or in cameroon it's usually cultivated either in the dry season or the rainy season we just have two seasons dry season when it's hot and dry and the rainy season when it's wet and it's raining as opposed to out here outside of the tropics we have four seasons so vegetables cultivated in the dry season are gonna have a different nutritional profile compared to vegetables uh, or the garden huckleberry cultivated in the rainy season just something to keep in mind other things that might affect the nutritional profile um, the fertility of the soil okay the fertility of the soil could impact the nutritional profile as well as the age of the vegetable so the younger shoots or younger leaves might have a different nutritional profile compared to the older vegetable in fact the younger crop is more nutritious compared to the older vegetable another thing you might want to know is that um, when you cook the vegetable about 60 percent of the vitamins get lost okay it leaches out of the vegetable into the vegetable water what that means is if you're the kind that likes to wash vegetables and throw away the water you're throwing away up to 60 percent of the nutrients 
or if you cook it in a lot of water, you know, all of that water comes out and then you throw it away, you're throwing away a lot of the nutrients in the vegetable, just something to keep in mind. And of course, the longer you cook it, some of the nutrients get destroyed in the process. That said, let me share with you the nutritional value based on 100 grams of the leaves. It has 83 to 91% water, 2.8 to 5.8 grams of protein, 0 0.6 to 1.4 grams of fiber. 3.3 to 5 percent of carbohydrates only 38 calories per 100 grams 1 to 4.2 milligrams of iron 90 to 442 milligrams of calcium 75 milligrams of phosphorus 1.7 to 11.6 milligrams of beta carotene and i hope that with this information you will definitely consider trying out this vegetable and if you do want to try out the vegetable and you need some seeds you can watch this video for an opportunity to win one of these or after the month of november i am going to be selling the seeds each pack is five dollars and then shipping within the usa it's a shipping and handling about five dollars so this is a ten dollar value this is a ten dollar value you're getting right here if you've watched up to this point i would like to say thank you collect the letters that pop up and WhatsApp to the number on the screen and I will send you some free garden huckleberry seeds at no cost to you at all. Some letters are going to be popping up as you watch this last part of the video. Collect the letters. There should be six of the letters and send them to me via WhatsApp. My numbers are going to be on the screen along with your address and I will send some seeds to you of the garden huckleberry vegetable and you can try them in your backyard thank you so much